Hey all, it's Steve again from Getting Fresh Air and it's summertime in Alabama and when we're not on the trail we like to take the doors off the Jeep. But what about side, uh, side view mirrors? We're going to look at an uh, install today on some new mirrors we got. So in Alabama, and you could check your own state laws uh, by just doing a Google search or whatever, but in Alabama, the only mirror that you're required to have by law is your rear view mirror. The side mirrors are not required, but they're always good to have. We live in a city that has a lot of four lane roads, uh, a lot of traffic and stuff, so you always see things like this without the mirrors. So today we're going to install the CMM off-road dual uh, mirror set. This actually comes in a lot of different options. Uh, you can get both driver and passenger side like we got, or you can just go with the driver side option if you wish. Also, these mounts come in a, in a bunch of different colors. Obviously, we got orange because... And then also, on the mounts, you can have the option of getting a 20 millimeter ball, a one inch ball, or you can just get a regular fill cap on there uh, if you don't want any ball. We went with the 20 millimeter ball because we have a bunch of other items in the, in the uh, Jeep already that are 20 millimeter balls, so that'll just be able to adapt over to, to uh, what we have already. The arms, we got the six inch arms. There's a choice of either six inch arms or eight inch arms that break away and kind of fold back if you hit a tree or mailbox or whatever you're hitting with your mirrors, I don't know. But they do fold back and, and, and so they don't break off, your, off the vehicle. Uh, and then obviously they come with the mirrors. Uh, this is just some of the install hardware that goes with this. And then these are the quick uh, uh, nuts that go on the arm itself. So the arm uh, with the mirrors installed can go uh, be removed when you're not using them and just the mount itself stays in the vehicle. So let's go and get this installed. I guess before we get started let's talk about the tools you'll need real quick. You're going to need either a, a flat tip screwdriver or a trim removal tool to get some of the trim piece off a uh, five millimeter, uh, five millimeter uh, hex and then an eight millimeter hex and then a uh, 10 millimeter socket. All right, first step is just to take apart this uh, existing cap. It does have a little thing right there so you can pull it all the way out or just move it to the side out of your way. And then there's the little uh, 10 millimeter bolt that's existing that's in there. So you got to pull that out. I guess a six inch extension would have been easier for this than the three inch, but lesson learned for the other side. There we go. There's that bolt out. And then obviously this is not going back in, so that can come out however it comes out. I guess you just give it a good yank and it pulls out, it's just a T. All right, so uh, I guess tip number one, the only way these things are marked, because they are a little bit different for passenger or driver side, when you take the, that piece off of the DS right there, hopefully we can see that on the camera, the DS, obviously driver side, so you know which is which, okay? And then this just fits up in here. I'm going to hit a bunch, uh, a, just a touch of Loctite before I put this bolt in. All right. And then that just fits in. And then we're going to need the smaller. Uh... Okay. Good and tight. 
So that's that. And then whether you got the one inch ball, the 22 inch, uh, 22 millimeter ball, 22 inch ball would be huge. I've got big balls, and they're such big balls. Uh, or the, just the cap, this goes right here to basically cover that point. And it's fairly, there we go. So that goes in there. And then with your other hex, just give that a little tightening, not over tightening, because you don't want to strip that out at all. And that's it. Basically, that's, that's the mount right there. Um, so now we'll get the mirror and uh, do the mirror. The mount is the same on the passenger side, so we'll get this going. Uh, let's walk over and put the mirror together. All right, so putting the mirror together, uh, obviously you got the mirror, the post, and the one bolt. And I just figured out before we started uh, filming this set part, part of the uh, video that the instructions actually lied uh, as far as the tool needed because this bolt is a uh, number six hex, so uh, that wasn't in the instructions. So you also need a number six hex for this particular bolt. Um, looking at this, you could see two, two sides one that's uh, indented a little bit more than the other side that's the side that the bolt goes in so the bolt sits in a little bit and then the mirror goes on on the other side okay simple as that um, one one tip that I did read online that um, obviously this comes pretty tight already but for over time when you're using this if the swivel uh, the mirror gets loose on here these three screws right here you can tighten up those screws to retighten up that swivel on the mirror so just remember that if it loosens up the over time so we'll go ahead and put the, the other side together and then we'll go back to the Jeep All right, back in the Jeep. So we got our mount installed. We got the mirror assembly, if you will, installing this just uh, as easy as going in there. And then your hand nut, yes, I said hand nut again, <laughs> just goes on there. And then boom, you got mirror, you can adjust it. Hey Kelly, adjust it and you're done. And it's easy as that, you can, uh basically take that on and off that mount stays in there let's do the passenger side and wrap this up all right so that's it you can see we got our passenger side on our driver's side we do have the, the uh, 20 millimeter balls, which match up with some of our other equipment that are already on 20, 20 millimeter balls, so we can move them around. But that's it. Quick, simple install. I, I didn't really time it, but I think that was less than 20 minutes, if that. So, simple thing, and we'll go to, out and test drive this. All right, if you're interested in this product, we'll put some links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing to follow along with all of our adventures. And as always, we hope to see you out there getting fresh air.